Rene Descartes was a 17th century French philosopher who to this day holds a rather lofty privilege of being regarded the father of modern philosophy. In fact, Descartes contributed so much that the French decided just to call it a day and never contribute anything else to society ever again, and they never have. Descartes' work established so many aspects of philosophical and scientific thought that you almost certainly know a lot more about him than you realise. For example, you know about the Cartesian coordinate system. Descartes fucking invented that. He also came up with that little number that you add to things to multiply them by the power of something, along with the laws of refraction and inflection and let's just say pretty much all of science. Perhaps most importantly, however, Descartes spent his days attempting to set up a framework to establish the most fundamental truths about the universe. He was obsessed with figuring out how to separate what we can know with certainty from all the other bullshit. To achieve this, Descartes established a method of philosophical inquiry known as the methodological scepticism, which meant that he took absolutely everything he thought he knew off the table and then tried to figure out what he could put back on it. Basically, he erased all scientific discoveries since the beginning of the human race like an etch-a-sketch drawing. What Descartes discovered was both startling and insanely frustrating. He couldn't actually prove a fucking thing. What he figured out was that because we experience the world exclusively through our senses and our senses are fallible, it's actually impossible for us to know anything, and everything you think you know is actually composed entirely of varying levels of belief. Nevertheless, Descartes kept at it, and after a while he finally came up with a single solitary fact that he could unapologetically announce that he knew for certain without any room for even the slightest possibility of doubt, and that was that he existed. Descartes defended this conclusion with the argument that for him to be asking questions about the nature of existence, and there must exist something to actually ask the question, or more simply, cogito ergo sum, I think, therefore I am. Around this time, Descartes felt as though he'd swallowed the blue pill and woken up in the Matrix, and he didn't even live long enough to have his mind fucked by Nietzsche. Over the years, he painstakingly managed to add a few other things to his table of certainty. For one, he believed that the existence of various axioms of geometry, for example, that a square always has four sides and it doesn't matter how deluded you are, you simply can't deny that. It was via this argument that Descartes ultimately believed that he could prove the existence of God, that in the same way as the definition of a square necessitates the existence of squares, the definition of God necessitates the existence of God. This is called the ontological argument, and every philosopher has a moment in which he thinks this argument is logically sound. But wait, no, that's not right. Or is it? Where am I? Descartes also pioneered the concept of Cartesian dualism, which puts forward that the universe is composed of two distinct categories of stuff, the regular matter that you see every day and the non-material substance of the mind and spirit. He believed that supernatural concepts such as souls were subject to scientific and logical inquiry just like everything else, and in fact believed to have located the human soul inside the pineal gland of the brain. Whether or not you believe in gods and ghosties, the fact remains that just about everything you learned in school traces back to René Descartes in some way, which is somewhat ironic considering Descartes' central philosophy is that everything you learned in school is wrong. Or is it? You don't know. By the way, have fun trying to sleep tonight. <laughs> To achieve this, Descartes established the method of philosophical inquiry known as method. To achieve this, Descartes established the method of philosophical inquiry known as the methodological scepticism, which meant that all to look at. Um, To achieve this, Descartes established the method of philosophical inquiry known as the methodological scepticism, which means that they took the. To achieve this, Descartes established the method of 